hello friends uh, welcome back in this video we will see uh, what is a data caching basically in simple terms data caching is storing data in memory for uh, quick access see when you are using like SQL server database for every time if uh, you are taking the tables uh, any data um like uh, if you are using gmail like if you are using gmail it's a uh, it is having inbox when you are going uh, one email to the an another email it's very um very easy and it's, it is very fast so how it is happening what is our gmail does is it takes the table of inbox or uh, particular account table a big table or any data table it stores in, in our data caching in a small memory like uh, uh, virtual memory so let's see an example how it works uh, in our data grid control when I when I am storing it uh, storing the database in our data caching so let's let's see how it works now I use grid view with a small button or okay so what i will do is i just double click on this let's create a new web page let's add it <coughs> this also let's take a grid view and when I click on button, it should go to the next page, redirect. Oops. Okay, so let's build it and uh, For this grid view, I just use our SQL database and store a table in our uh, grid view control and into, into our catchy control. Let's choose um, like anything like main do one table and let's have the namespace Let's take data set also. And uh, D1 equal to after that we just fill in our data set d1 
DS. Okay. Like grid view one dot data source equal to DS. Grid we need to data bind grid view dot data find this bit this place uh, our tab table into our data and grid view control and let's insert into the catchy like a small step catchy dot insert a string key like uh, mm, main do one you can give any, any string key and object name is data set we need we are storing this data set into that so let's see how it works now I'm just uh, building it will succeed it what I'll do is I just use that catchy here So when I go to the page load event here like grid view one dot uh, data source equal to cache cache of or string name. Mm main do one and grid view one dot data find let's build it and let's go to our data for default dot aspx and debug our uh, project see what happened which display here also let's take into the page load event and let's run it see this is our uh, default dot aspx page it is showing uh, our table here when I click on the button, it also should show in the default dot to default two dot aspx. We are not in the default dot uh, default dot default two dot aspx page. We are not going to our uh, SQL. We are not using any SQL client. We are not going to the backend every time. Any any time we are not going to backend. Or we are just using the cache to get the database see this this is uh, very efficient like 5000 percent than our uh, previous processes like um, every time going into the uh, SQL server and taking the tables and displaying on grid view or any any other thing got it that is what you use data caching you cache the data and uh, it stores in the cache that's it uh, if you have any doubts you just use our uh, comment window in our desi.desibindas.com you can see our and uh, that's it thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye